Hello, it's Sarah here, one of uh, the team vicars in the Golden Cap team. Welcome to our midweek message on this, the 30th of June. I've been thinking about what I could get Heidi and Sarah as an ordination present because um, their ordination is this weekend on um, Sunday the 3rd. It's always tricky deciding what presents to get people. So I brought you into uh, my study to have a look at what people have uh, given me either as an ordination present or, or as a goodbye present. I was sort of hoping it might give me a little bit of an inspiration about what to get Heidi and uh, Sarah. So so I could get them uh, a gin glass because they might need the odd drop of gin after chairing um, tricky PCC meetings. Um, they're going to have to learn to do that quite quickly. This is a gin glass that I was uh, given as a goodbye present uh from uh, one of the church wardens in one of my smaller churches where I was before. And it's special to me, um, not because it has any value or um, because uh, it, it's a gin glass, but it's special to me because of the poem um, that came uh, with it. I had to open this um, in church and react in the right way. Um, just move the glass and, and I'll read you the poem. It says, Ode to Sarah. We wanted a gift especially for you. Something personal, something funny, didn't really have a clue. What should it be? That was the tricky bit. Something to remember us when you relax and sit. Following some discussion, we decided on this glass. We thought you'd find it funny, even quite a blast. When it arrived with a spelling error... You can imagine we were in a terror. How would you take this? It could be changed. We still had time. Put it to the vote. We agreed when everyone felt you would think it fine. Even unique. A bit like Goat Hill Church, perhaps, when we often get things not quite right, but manage most mishaps. So this comes wishing you all the best, putting your sense of humour to the test Please accept in the spirit of jest, go from an amazing vicar to an even slicker vicar. Bless them. Um, when you look at the gin glass, I don't know whether you can see this here. Um, let's turn this round. Um, it says another gin vicar. Can you see the spelling on that? Poor things, they were mortified. But to compound the error... There's two spelling mistakes because if I twist this round, you'll see it says from the Goat Hill herd. The church was um, in um, a farmyard and they always um, referred to themselves as a herd of goats. I don't think you can spell, see that, but it's spelled H-E-A-R-D on, um, on my glass. Uh, what a lovely present. I'm going to um, treasure that um, for a long, long time, time because it just summed up the church there and the lovely, lovely church warden, Trudy. But this present here is just as special. This present here that's hanging on my wall is made by the lovely um, Jin Jim Burke, who, who was another church warden at the time that I was ordained um, a deacon and then a priest. It's special because I know that Jim um, made it. Uh, Jim was the local builder and uh, he was also the church warden and everybody knew him and he was lovely. But he's made this out of um, a piece of uh, you that was in the churchyard, a, a branch that had fallen off one of the trees. And uh, um, it, it's special to me because I know those yew trees are really, really old. So I've got something of Julish, that churchyard, with me. It's special to me because uh, Jim made it. 
but I think you can work out what it says. Um, it says Jesus, Jesus. And I sort of think that that's the most uh, special gift that you can give somebody, um, the gift of Jesus in um, their lives. So that's my my thought that I want to share with you. Um, can we give Jesus as a gift uh, to somebody today? Of course, we uh, wish Heidi and um, Sarah every blessing for their special service on Sundays and their new uh, roles amongst us. Um, a blessing for Heidi as she moves to Dorchester to be the curate there. And a special blessing we'll pray for Sarah as she comes to our team um, as our curate. Have a great week, everyone.